welcome back to the channel my name is inside a gamer welcome back to autobahn police simulator 2 uh, episode number two as well uh, on the first episode we kind of did the tutorial the main themes uh, we've been told to come back to base and report back to our sergeant here uh, who we're going to go in and talk to right now hello boss you wanted to speak to me yes i want to give you a special task we've been having problems with the stone thrower here for a few weeks now he seems to find it amusing to drop rocks from bridges onto the autobahn. I don't need to tell you how dangerous that is. Search for clues at the last crime scene. I want to get my hands on this fellow. You might find something interesting on the bridge. Now, this case has top priority, so keep me informed if you come across anything interesting. Well, I suppose we have to accept it, really, don't we? We don't really have a lot of choice. Okay, so... Let's, uh, unfortunately, I've turned down the UI noises for those kind of dings, but unfortunately they don't turn down. I don't know what's going on. Uh, so we're going to go into our patrol car where we left it. Here's Hans. Hello, Hans. Okay guys, welcome to the crime scene, so I think. Uh, that was a long drive, 12 kilometers in this game. This map is pretty extensive, um, but we are here at our destination. Now we need to find clues. Okay, it's easier said than done. Let's have a look down here then. Oh no, I'm leaving the area. Okay. Let's get our investigation up. And we've got to go through all this rubbish. Now the one thing that is bugging me is the camera. The camera is a bit funny still. What do we have here then? Someone spent some time smoking here. Wait a minute. This is a very rare brand. I used to smoke these too. They're only available in one place around here. You used to smoke? Oh, that's the first question that comes to mind. Yes, I used to be stupid enough to smoke. Okay, okay, calm down. Where can you get these cigarettes? Yeah, there's a petrol station not far from here. The pack is probably from there. The trail may not be very fresh anymore, but we should follow it all the same. Okay, so we do have a new task to go. Apparently that is our one clue. You'd think uh, as the police, we would just use DNA you know, off the cigarette. Or was it actually a, a butt? Or, or, or he didn't really explain, but anyways. You'd expect that to be the case. But anyways, let's go to this petrol station. It's quite a few kilometers away. Jesus. Petrol station in question. Maybe they have some CCTV. Let's question this dude. Hello, uh, you work here at the petrol station, right? May I ask you something? Hello. I'm actually the leaseholder. My two sons and I have operated the petrol station for more than 10 years. Feel free to go ahead and ask me. Is it correct that you sell this rare brand of cigarettes? Yes, that's correct. There used to be more demand for it, but these days we only sell it rarely. How often have you sold this brand in the last week? Exactly once. Some guy bought a whole carton of them. Tell me, that was a bit of your petrol station has CCTV cameras, right? Could you give us a picture of the buyer? Of course. That's why we have this system. Give me a few minutes. He's going to do a runner. <laughs> Imagine that. Oh. That's a very weird cut to jump scene. Very helpful. Okay, here's the picture. 
Hot off the photo printer. Thanks. This will really help us. It's a shame you can only see half of his face, but it's better than nothing. Okay, we gotta go back to Becca now and uh, tell him what we found. Not a lot. Attention all emergency vehicles. We have an accident causing a traffic jam. Not entirely sure what just happened there. <laughs> but the car crashed. Okay. Let's go see Becca. Tell him we have half a face. Maybe we'll get a promotion. I never know what doors are going to open inwards and outwards. What did you find out? We followed a lead and at least got a photo of the suspect as a result. Good work. This is a start. As soon as we have more information, we'll take up the case again. Getting to the bottom of this matter is dear to my heart, so keep your eyes open. We need to stop this criminal's activities. Okay, I'm going to put it back to uh, daytime. And apparently we need to go back downstairs. Just in. A lorry has driven into a bridge support and now it's in danger of collapsing. Drive over there and secure the scene of the accident. We're on route. Yes, we are. We are the police for the greater good. Twos on guys slow down traffic sometimes it's dangerous bikes to be secured as fast down possible in this case traffic can be slowed down your partner will tell you when to activate the led sign before you reach the danger spot your velocity should be under 50. so the scene yeah. of the accident is coming you should turn on the matrix sign okay signals matrix board uh stop the following traffic Stop over there. Calling all cars. Officers are currently pursuing a fleeing vehicle. We need to... I'll take care of checking the personal details before you speak to the people. In the meantime, you can take care of something else. I've recorded the personal details. Everything okay so far? The case. Accident investigation consists of various tasks. Securing the scene of the accident, photographing the scene, accident sketch, clearance of the wreckage, dialogue with parties involved. Live accident contains all tasks. Accident investigations ends with the final report. The scene of the accident should always be secured first. Traffic cones out of the boot and place them in the highlighted locations. You should always speak to the parties involved in the accident. This will describe to the view of events. They will often tell you little secrets which can be amusing or shine a different light to the accident. Okay, activate your camera by pressing X, focus. Okay. Uh, to open this sketch, we're going to press C. Wow, we've got a lot of stuff to remember here now. A little bit too much. Okay, let's get the traffic cones out. Let's just start with the first thing.
Okay. Speak to the lorry driver. We can do that. Not available. Hello. What happened here? Talk about stupid. This had to happen to me. Oh, man. Stay calm. No one's been hurt. So, take a deep breath and explain how this happened. Okay, yes. So, while I was driving, I heard a funny noise and I saw in my wing mirror that I was losing my load. I was so terrified, I not only jammed on the brakes, I whipped the steering wheel around too. And before I knew it, I had crashed into the bridge. Nothing like this has ever happened to me before. I don't know the how not. The worker must have been sloppy. He was in charge of the loading. You do know that as the driver of the vehicle, you are ultimately responsible for the safety of the load. Yes. Oh, I'm so sorry. We're done here. You and your employer will definitely still hear from us regarding the incident. But first, go and recover. Thanks. Okay, we need to remove the objects now. Where the bloody hell do I put them? Oh, this is what I mean about the camera. Brutal. Yeah, I'm sure he's probably working the furthest away first. Come on, hands. You could be doing some work here, mate. You're not that old yet. Okay, we have done everything that we need to do. Accident is complete. Hey, it's good to see you here. A lorry has got stuck in an awkward position. We should get out there and check that everything is in order. Okay, then. What are we waiting for? Okay, we're at the next Ephesus are currently pursuing Accident. the fleeing vehicle. We need to block the slip roads. I'll take care of checking the personal details before you speak to the people. In the meantime, you can take care of something else. Talk to the driver and take a look at his load. Got it. Will do. Okay, I need to see if I can turn off these alarms because they're going to drive me insane while we're here.
Brutal. Hello. Why have you stopped? Hello. The tractor won't go anymore. I think there's something wrong with the engine. This location is not completely safe. It's good that you set up your warning light anyway. Have you called the breakdown service yet? Yes. They should be here in a few minutes. Could I take a look at your load? Why? Well, if you have to. Thanks. Oh, the... Not gonna like that. There. Ah. Oh, that activates your police sense. This emphasizes your opportunities and interactions. Okay. What do we have here? Look at this. Could be interesting. What do you want with that piece of cloth? Well, I'm following my instincts. Your words. I'll talk to the driver again. So, everything seems to be in order with your load, but we found this on one of the boxes. A piece of cloth? Yes. And? It looks like a piece of shirt to me. Have you injured yourself, perhaps? What? No, no. I'm completely fine. Maybe one of my colleagues tore their shirt while loading the vehicle. Do you mind if I take it with me? The cloth? No. Help yourself. Thanks. Just make sure that you get your lorry out of here. And be careful until the breakdown service gets here. Goodbye. Yes, I'll do that. Okay, that seems simple, but I feel like there is more to that. Okay, we're back to base, guys. And that's where we're going to end this episode today. I'm just going to swing around. Oh. Must turn off sirens. Now we can end the episode. Okay, guys, if you're enjoying this content, please let me know in the comments down below if you'd like me to carry on with this kind of series and see where we go with this in our budding uh, police officer career. Let me know. Um, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, come join the Discord. And I'd love myself, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.